Hi. I wanted to uh, take uh, some of my time today in this really, really hot, scorching, the uh, weather is really hot in here, uh, afternoon to uh, make a video about uh, the vowels of American English. You might say, hey, dude, there's more than one kind of American English. Granted, but uh, I'd like to talk about so called general American, basically what you get to hear on television. Uh, especially when, when you got some kind of newscaster, guys like, you know, like David Letterman. Uh, general American is usually associated with like a, a lower Midwestern kind of accent. Uh, either way, uh, there, there are people who actually do speak this way. It's not just on television. It's not like, you know, like, uh, it, it's not like a, some kind of minority dialect like RP is in England. I speak something similar to General American. I know it's not exactly the same, but it is quite similar to this. Um, all right. Um, basically, uh, to illustrate the sounds, I got I made uh, two lists. You have the the IPA uh, International Phonetic Alphabet uh, vowel symbols on this side, and then words on this side. I tried to keep uh, my words uh, one syllable when possible. When not. I've underlined the, the syllable with the important vowel, uh, in this case, father, in this case, uh, the vowel is also stressed. But for example, on, my, on, on the second list, right here, you got butter, and uh, of course the stress is on but, but uh, the important vowel is, on, is er, butter. Uh, so I've underlined, underlined it. Alright, so let's go through these. Uh, I like to call these like the the um, the nine uh, important ones, uh, the main vowels. Uh, basically, these are the ones. Excuse me for a second. All this talking makes you thirsty, especially in this heat. Um, basically, these are the ones that I actually teach my students. Um, and then, well, you know, the rest of it, they just, uh, they just kind of copy it, <laughs> even though, I mean, basically, I just show them to, like, show them that there are, like, more vowels in English than in Spanish, and of course, I don't expect them to learn how to pronounce this from just me, you know, showing them, but it gives them an idea, and then when they actually listen, you know, doing classwork or, or, or practicing on their own, uh, it, it might help uh, them notice certain differences. So anyway, let's start with this list. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, try to say the sound on its own. Sometimes it's a little hard. It's a lot easier to say these sounds in actual words, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, first sound is E. Seat. E. Seat. Second sound, I, sit, I, sit, I, sit. Third sound, E, pet, E, pet, pet. Fourth sound, A, cat, cat. Fourth sound, U, suit, suit. Uh, sixth sound, uh, uh, um, man, this one is hard to say by itself. Uh, put, uh, put, put. Then, uh, duck, duck. Then, uh, not, not. Then, ah, uh, far, far. I've also written down another one that doesn't have an R because... Arguably, the R uh, does change the quality of the vowel. Uh, so we have far, and then father, father, father. All right. Nine so far. But wait, there's more. Three more. Three more single sounds. Then we go into double sounds or diphthongs. Is it a diphthong or a diphthong? I have no idea. As uh, as as of course, as, as is obvious, this is not a high-frequency word. Uh, 
it's not like I hear it a lot. That's why I'm asking. All right, this uh, sound right here uh, is called the schwa. Uh, 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 it's an undefined vowel. It's a central vowel. Uh, the lips are not rounded. Uh, the lips are not particularly closed or, or open. Uh, it's just a very relaxed vowel, easy to pronounce. Uh, the, the. When you say the, and you don't, um, and, and it's not stressed, for example, the man. Man sounds like can't. So you say the man, the man. The stress is on man. Right, you say the man. Right, the man, not the Steve Kaufman. That would be, you can say Steve Kaufman is the man, but you can also say uh, his the Steve Kaufman. That's the stress version of the, which, which sounds like seat, the. But this is the unstressed version of the, the man, which has a schwa sound. The man, the, the, the. Then you have the so-called R-collared schwa. It's basically a schwa with an R, but if you listen, you can see that really you're kind of articulating both at the same time. It's kind of like a, 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 a like, like a, a melded sound. Um, <clears throat> so some transcribe it as this, basically a schwa, and then an R, like a sequence. Uh, the, you will notice that the R is upside down. This is the IPA symbol for the American R. Uh, you can also see it as a, as a right side up R because uh, some people when transcribing English they don't bother with doing this uh, because they assume that you know some varieties will not pronounce the R. Some varieties will pronounce it in a certain way, in another way. So when you're not being particularly uh, fussy uh, you can see this uh, transcribe it side up, or like this, basically the schwa with the R incorporated. This is on the word butter, butter, butter. At the end, you have a schwa and an R, uh, uh, American R, of course, and they, they, they're kind of pronounced together, butter, er, 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 butter. Finally, er, er, er. You can see this transcribed as, as this, looks like a three, or like a, a backwards uh, symbol for the pet, for the pet vowel. And uh, this one uh, happens uh, with an R. It, it, it doesn't happen in isolation, not in American English anyway. So you can see it like this as a sequence, or like this, with incorporated into a symbol. And this is in the word, for example, herd. Heard. I heard him. Heard. 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 Right? It's a little different. It, it's In a way, it's kind of similar to the duck vowel, but a little different. Heard. I heard him. I heard that. Heard. Right? Okay, then, now to vowel sounds. I wonder if I can keep this video under 10 minutes. <laughs> I tend to ramble, but this is a very interesting topic. Uh, and a topic that I found that I find fascinating. I mean, think about it. Spanish, my native language, only has five distinctive vowel sounds. Five. Now look at this. We're talking about, we're talking about, we're talking about 12 vowel sounds. 12. That's a lot. That's fascinating. I, I like the, the, this variety. And it also contributes uh, to the fact that that English is, is, is uh, capable of having so many monosyllables, words that are only one syllable. I mean, look at all this. Amazing. 